Hey there, it's Laurel Beard today with a special video as I am participating in a very fun blog hop. It's Justine Hovey's 1 million views celebration blog hop and she has put together a fun lineup and with a hop there's always prizes but she's actually created a fun way uh, to enter to win the prizes. Each video hopper is going to embed a secret word in their video somewhere. So you have to watch all of the hoppers, gather all of the words and they form a sentence, and then you'll enter the sentence on a link that I will put right down there in the YouTube description below. And that's how you'll enter to win the prize. Doesn't that sound like fun? I thought that was pretty clever. So uh, you'll have to watch all the videos to gather all the secret words to formulate the sentence. <laughs> I think that's fun. So be sure to check out all the information in my YouTube description below. I will have link to the next person on the video hop and also the link for the prize drawing. So in today's video, I'm going to make this pineapple card. Now the theme of the blog hop is celebration or celebrate. I'm celebrating being in love. Why not? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to use some Heidi Swap reactive foil mist for the first time. And I decided it would be fun to actually try to paint with it. So I've grabbed a paintbrush here now. Uh, you're not gonna ruin your paintbrush as long as you clean your paintbrush right away. Don't let this stuff dry on your paintbrush and you'll be just fine. So I'm taking paintbrush, I'm dipping it into the reactive mist and I'm painting on some stripes. Just streaks, whatever you wanna call them, little wonky stripes. Uh, and to create my own little striped background, I thought this would be fun. With the reactive mist, you wanna make sure it's completely dry before you move on to the next step. So I zapped it with my heat tool because I have no patience, uh, but you could just walk away and do something else and come back later. Just make sure it's good and dry, which it won't be tacky to the touch. I've got this little transfer folder here, and I'm going to take a piece of black uh, deco foil. I think this is deco foil, shiny side up putting it right over the reactive mist I just painted on, and I'm gonna run that through my mini misty. That's not a mini misty, that's my mini mink machine. I got stuff, all kinds of minis on the brain. Anyway, my mini mink machine had it on setting four, and then I peel back my uh, foil there, and look at those cool stripes. I'm digging it, I love it. I love the texture, I love the shine. Now this is the Stay Golden stamp set from Ellen Hudson, and I decided I wanted to do some pineapples. Why not? So this is some gathered twigs, wild honey distressing. I'm gonna stamp all the base of the, the body of the pineapple with my wild honey. I'm using distressings because I wanted a watercolored kind of look here. You can use any kind of ink you want. Wanted two different tones here, so I'm using gathered twigs too. I didn't like how I stamped it the first time. So I decided to stamp all of the wild honey first, and then I'll go back and add in the gathered twigs second. And that way I don't get that harsh line like I got on that top left pineapple there. I'm going to, what am I gonna do now? Now I'm gonna take the top of the pineapple there, and I'm gonna paint the reactive mist onto that because I wanna foil the top of that pineapple, all those lines, I want them foiled. So I'm painting the, uh, the reactive mist right onto my stamp and then stamping down. Now I do have to add the reactive mist every single time I stamp. I can't do any double stamping with the reactive mist because it comes off. And then wipe your stamp off right away and don't let it dry on your stamp and your stamp will be just fine, I promise. I'm just using water and a microfiber cloth. Again, you wanna make sure that reactive mist is good and dry before you move on to the foiling step. This is some glittery gold uh, foil from Heidi Swap. And I'm just placing that again in the transfer folder, foil side up, pretty side up, and then I'll run that through my mini mink machine again. If you don't have this transfer folder, you can run it in between a, a folded piece of typing paper or something like that. And then when you peel up your foil, check out this pineapple, look at all that sparkle and shine. Ooh, so pretty. I just can't even. I love the sparkle. And it doesn't come off all over your hands like glitter. Ooh, pause. Here's your secret word, you guys. It's all. Write it down so you can formulate your sentence. And remember, the link to the prize drawing is below in the YouTube description. Back to the card. <laughs> I'm going to take the coordinating die uh, from the Stay Golden stamp set. Die cut all of my pineapples. And now we got to add the tops of the pineapples. I don't know what they're called. Sprigs? No. I'm gonna Google that after the video, rest assured. Using some mowed lawn and forest moss distress ink to stamp the sprigs of the pineapple, the top of the pineapple, whatever it's called. And uh, again, I'm, I stamped the mowed lawn first and I'm going in with the forest moss to get that little two-tone look there. Dry that and then I'm going to take the coordinating die and run that through my die cutting machine as well. And then I've got all these fun, foiled, watercolored pineapples left. Now here's where you guys might wanna punch me in the face. Uh, my camera stopped 
recording. So all those dots in the background and me starting to pull together the card didn't film, but I'm gonna go over how I got the dots in the background. For the pineapples, I adhere the one to the left and right directly to the foiled striped card base, and then I pop the center one up with foam dimension. But all those little dots in the background, I wanna show you how I did that. And I did that without foiling with the laminator. This is a Martha Stewart glue pen, and I'm just adding the little dots in the background all over the place. And I'm also gonna scribble on the, what I don't know what it's called, the tops of the pineapples, the leaves, the sprigs, whatever. I'm gonna just scribble all on there. So anywhere where that glue is, my foil is going to stick to it. I'm gonna make sure it dries, and when it dries, this particular glue, it dries tacky. So any glue that you have that dries tacky will work. Then I'm taking my foil and just pressing it right over the areas where the glue is, and it transfers the foil just beautifully. I think the quickie glue pen also will work for this. But whatever you have that dries tacky, look at that. Foiling without the, heat, the laminator, without the heat. That's pretty awesome. Think of all the possibilities you've got there. So this is the shape and, take, shape and tape. And I thought adding some stripes, some vertical stripes would be fun too. This is basically, you get a whole bunch of designs and it has a backing paper. So the sticky's there. You just remove the backing paper and then it basically is like washi tape. So I went ahead and adhered that down to a top folding black card. And then I'm gonna adhere my little foiled pineapple piece down and cut off any of the excess here. I'm gonna round the two corners on the right hand side there. And then, you know, I never do anything on the inside of my cards ever. But I had these leftover pineapples, so why not? So I'm gonna adhere the pineapple over there, and then I'm going to heat emboss a little sentiment on the inside, still leaving me enough room to write a handwritten message. So I'm gonna use some pigment ink, white pigment ink, stamp that where it says, hey, sweet thing. <laughs> I'm gonna sprinkle on some super fine white embossing powder and heat set that. I love white on black. I just love it. So now I've got the inside of my card, which I never do, ever. Well, I can't say that now because I just did it. Uh, so then I needed a sentiment on the front, so I put that pining for you. I'm going to stamp that just with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. Now, the, the theme of the hop was celebration. I kind of, uh, or celebrate, I kind of, uh, you know, took some creative liberty there <laughs> and made this pining for you card. <laughs> I just think it's cute, right? All right, so here are the prizes. Check them out. You got So Susie Stamps, Simon Says Stamp, a set of pen blades, Catherine Pooler Party Collection inks, which are amazing. I have them. The Mini Misty. Hello. Apparently, I'm in love with it. I, I called the uh, Mini Mink Machine the Mini Misty. So look at all these great prizes here. So uh, you want to click here for the next video. Now, for some reason, it doesn't work. I do have the link in the YouTube description below for your next video. So Justine, congratulations on a million views. That is an amazing achievement. Thank you so much for having me part of your special celebration. And all of you, thank you guys for joining me today, and I'll catch you next time.